So, hello. Um, I've got something a little bit different to show you today. Uh, I'm out with a couple of friends doing a bit of photography. You can see the cameras over on the side on a tripod. And it's a really cold morning. It's sort of two degrees, three degrees. And it's quite chilly. Uh, and if you've probably noticed, if you're a regular to my channel, you notice I'm wearing a grey jacket. I've actually got this, this, this coat has been sent to me from, and excuse the pronunciation to this name, I'll put it up on the screen, uh, Conquico. Uh, it's, it's one of those names it's very hard to pronounce. But yeah, they've sent me this jacket, and uh, I thought I'd give it a try. I'm wearing a large, and I have got my base layer underneath, so it's quite snug. But I think it needs to be snug, um, because the beauty of this jacket is it's got heating pads in it. On my chest, I've got two heating pads, and on my back, I've got a heating pad, and it's controlled by these little light things inside here. And at the moment, I've got it on a low, and if I was to press and hold it, I can go to red, which means it goes on a high level, and then I can press and hold it, it goes on white, which is a medium, and then I'm going to go down to low. In fact, I'll put it onto a high for now just to see um, if it gets a lot warmer. But it's keeping me warm, it's keeping my core, my internal organs, and everything just warm enough to just withstand the cold now i've got my gloves on you know i'm a, a, a valorette lover for gloves um i use these a lot so keeping your core warm is the best way to keeping your hands and your feet and things at warm because if your core is warm your extremities are okay if your core gets cold your extremities get even more colder because your body naturally pulls all the heat away from your hands and your feet and your fingers to leap to make sure that your core and all your vital organs inside here are surviving so by having a jacket like this it keeps your core warm and then that consequently keeps everything else a little bit warmer um, and it is working it's nice it's it's washable uh, it's windproof uh, it will probably take a bit of a shower if it's washable but you know these things can go in the washing machine they can be used I'm gonna put loads of stuff up on the screen for you because I didn't bring any notes out with me and I'm in the middle of Ellen Valley as you can see I've got a beautiful fantastic view behind me but it's cold, it's gray, it's miserable, it's it's just yucky. And having a coat like this, and it's got a hood, it's got a big hood. So you can see I've got this great big hood that I can pull on as well. And it just keeps everything in. If I zip it up, my microphone is inside, but I can zip this up and I can be nice and snug inside here, keeping myself warm and toasty. So yeah, I really, really, I really, really like this. Now, the beauty of having this coat is I've got a spare one to give away. So there will be a giveaway, but it might not be in this video, okay? The catch is you need to watch my other videos. And in one of my other videos, I am going to give away, over the next two or three videos, I am going to give away one of these jackets. So you're gonna to have to watch other videos. I'm not gonna give it away in this one, but this is about the jacket. So you get these two zip pockets, really, really nice. So these two zip pockets, so you can put things in there without losing them. And inside, there is a zip pocket down on the inside where you put your power pack. Now you can use any kind of power pack uh, to run this. Uh, it's a USB, you literally plug it in and away you go. It gives you instant power. Now, Concoco have their own um, power packs their own energy for these things so you can buy these separately so when you're buying the jackets and you do have a jacket as well it's not just this this jacket they do um, lots of different jackets as well to go with this they do outer skins they do over jackets uh, and lots of different stuff I'm hoping I can show you a few more as time goes on but at the moment this is the first one it is keeping me nice and warm and toasty I can feel the elements on my chest and my back and it's just making sure my body is nice and warm and it's really really nice so that's all I want to do really just explain what we've got show you this jacket talk about it a little bit and um, yeah, I'm going to bring up some specs. I'll talk to you back at the van and uh, tell you all about the uh, technical side of it rather than the actual wearing it and using it. But at the moment, warm and toasty, big thumbs up. So I'm back at the van now and I've got the uh, jacket off and it's hanging up uh, next to me. Just talk to you a little bit about what I've got on my phone to show you. First of all, you can see that you get this heat pads in the front chest. So you've got these two heat pads in the chest cavities. It keeps your body warm. They do a man and a woman's version of this as well. You can see in the back there, there's this nice heat pad uh, generating heat in, in your back. And when I've got my bag on my back as well, it's uh, very, very warm. It's quite a heavy weighty jacket. It's got a little bit of weight to it when you're wearing it. So you can tell that it's got some insulation properties as well. On this screen, uh, multi-purpose use. I said before that it's um, warm, it's windproof and and durable uh, so yeah you're getting that durability of um, having something a little bit windproof and washable on on your back super uh, secure zip pockets yeah I mentioned the zip pockets with the tags on them as well so they're very easy to zip up and when you zip them up they've got um, like a seal down the zip as well uh, which should stop a drop of water getting in really they're not um, just an open zip they have actually got a flap over the zip as well also stops the wind going into the zip pockets comfortable lining yeah well I'll, I'll agree to that it's definitely comfortable it's soft 
uh, soft to the touch and nice and comfortable uh, when wearing it. Uh, your power pack, um, power pack pocket. It has a power pack pocket, uh, which I did mention before. So in here, on the inside of the jacket, you'll see that we've got this zip on the inside and inside the zip, we've got the uh, Conquico uh, power pack, which is connected there by a USB cable and the USB cable goes up inside this little uh, flange thing there. Um, and goes up inside to the heating elements. Uh, this at the moment is now on a two bar. Uh, there is some lights on the top. You can see that if I switch it on, uh, you get two bars coming up on there, uh, showing that it's got uh, two bars. In the top, you've got an input of a USB-C and a USB output on the top as well there. And there's your little power button as well to show you what the power is. So you basically just plug it in. The only thing I would say about this, and this is my personal personal thought when you plug this in and see the cable comes this direction uh, away from the actual unit it would have been nice to see that go the other way around so that your cable is protected uh, by the by the shroud on the top so instead of it being this way you can see there it would have been nice to go in that way around but other than that it works fine and then that tucks into the pocket once you've got it inside your pocket you just basically just zip zip it up inside so tuck it in zip it up and there you go, it's, it's zipped up inside the internal pocket. Um, so you just remember that that is in there. Heat, heating up, you know, like I said, about keeping your core warm, keeping your body warm and stuff like that. Warm heat, hand, uh, hand warmer pockets. Yep, yeah, you can put your hands in your pockets, keep your hands warm. They do female versions as well. Uh, so basically what you're seeing on the screen is, you know, if you're an average size to what you can see on the screen there, waist of 86, bust or chest size of 103, uh, try a size medium. And if you're a woman, if you're a lady, um, a bust size of 88, uh, weight, a uh, waist of um, 64, thereabouts, um, they reckon again, a medium size. Now I've got a large, I had a large on over the top of this and this has got a bit of padding on it as well. And it was snug, but it fit okay. I would always go a slightly bigger uh, for something like this because then you can wear it in colder weather, which means you've got more warm clothes on. If you're gonna wear it in warm weather, it's pointless having a heated jacket. So always go slightly bigger so you can have more layers on. Men's and women's unisex heated uh, act if wear jacket that's what they're calling it and it retails at 97.38 it is not the cheapest jacket on the market but it is heated and that says a lot for something when it is cold and wintry on the inside i did show you that before didn't I? on the inside you've got the button to turn the power on and off you can't see it on screen it's a little bit higher um, but in the red mode you're getting 50 degrees centigrade uh, roughly so you get, that's quite a, a quite a nice warm temperature i have these hand warmers as well um, I've got these hand warmers by Unigear and these things, um, again, they, you switch them on and you get a heat setting and they go up the same. They go up to about 50 degrees C and they're nice and warm and toasty when you need to keep your fingers warm. So having a jacket like this and having one of these in your pocket, better still. Uh, the middle mode on the white setting is 40 degrees C. Um, on, the, on, the, on the hot setting, it worked between four and six working hours. So between four and six hours on a maximum setting is pretty good. That's a decent walk that is. Uh, 8 to 10 hours, uh, about 30 degrees C on the medium, and on the low setting, 13 to 16 hours, uh, 35 degrees C. Uh, and I've got to say that at 35 degrees C, I would say that works pretty well, because um, it's just enough to keep that body ticking over, and that's for 13 hours, that's really good. Like I said, I did say I have a spare one. This is the one I've been wearing. Uh, this is a spare one. I've got one to give away. Uh, it will be going out in a future video. So you do need to keep an eye on my videos, watch my videos, like my videos and share my videos if you want to get your hands on one of these totally free. Um, that's all I can say. I'm not going to give it away now because it makes it too easy for you. Have you got a heated jacket? Do you wear heated jackets? I would actually like a, a heated gilet, I think. I think um, the company Concoco, they do other heated stuff as well. So I'm going to see if I can get a heated gilet because I like the fact of having it um, in between. And I wear a gilet quite a lot. Uh, as you can see there, I've got one in my van and I, I, I do like this. I put it on, it's got no sleeves on it so that it um, basically just keeps the middle of you warm. So if I can get a heated one of them, that would be perfect for me. Uh, this is gonna be great on slightly cooler days when I don't have to have all the layers on. But yeah, brilliant design. Uh, thanks for sending it. Uh, thank you to Conquico, I think it's pronounced, uh, for sending it out to me and show, let me show you. Till next time, ciao for now, see you soon and yeah, Drop me a comment, let me know what you think. Ta-da.